今日ラボでクリスマスパーティーやるって言っておいたよねちゃんと覚えてる I did not But thank you game for reminding me That looks great on you, Mayuri I'll be there It's at six, right? Her voice got fainter on the phone for a second And I heard the other girls That voice sounds familiar. Who is that? Was that Ferris in the first one? Because that's definitely Ferris there. The Nya gives it away and it sounded much more like her. Hmm. The first one sounds like something she'd say too. As a male Santa, maybe. Come on. Oh no. My head, ow. Ugh. Oh, I forgot about those two. Those two would be there, wouldn't they? And they totally know that Mayuri likes uh, Hokube. So, yeah. Hey, if you want to come over afterwards, I'd gladly get you a Santa costume. Yeah, but it'll be a nice change of pace at the very least. Oh, come on. It'll be fun. I guess so. Yeah. Mao's reaction surprised me. Was I that weird? Last time we talked, well. Part of it was because I was freaking out, but I kind of just hung up on her. Knowing Karisu's personality, she's mad. I'm sure of it. And since I'm kind of connected to her, I've got this invisible pressure bearing down on me every minute of the day. Dr. Leskinen had been trying to help me out, but I would have felt better if he just stripped me of the access. No, I'm pretty sure he's doing this on purpose. I don't want a relationship to just end with a fight. <laughs> Oh, I don't get the choice. It just it wanted me to do it myself, but Hi. Oh man, she is shaking up. <sighs> she was mad. I knew it. I'm sorry. I bowed my head. You were nice enough to talk to someone like me and I betrayed your kindness. And I know it was rude of me to just suddenly hang up the last time we talked. I, I was remembering some personal stuff that had happened and I was a mess. But I've got nothing to do but it's got nothing to do with you. I at least wanted to apologize before I quit my job as a tester. That, uh, that's all. <laughs> he was chuckling the same way Maho had just done. Oh my goodness, Maho's expression. The sort of like sideways, just like... Sideways, just like... Mm. <laughs> just her like little smile there. No, not, well, not a smile, but a little, like, frowny something thing there. Just at that angle, it looks so silly. 
Wait, what? How can you laugh when I'm giving you a real apology? Was it weird to apologize to an AI and mean it? It probably was. <laughs> well, maybe not today. No, I mean, I already have plans, and I already offered to ever um. Huh? Huh? Christmas Eve. And so I hang up again. You know what? Maybe it was better if I didn't. Fine. Party? So Oh, you just said dinner. No, you can't go your way out of this one. You already made your demand. You know, you're not being very subtle about what you're trying to do. <laughs> I don't think it's teasing anymore. We're talking about this super awesome Christmas party. You're invited too. You can come too, Dr. Leskinen. Oh fuck, I just thought about it. Wait, wait, what, ha what happened the last time we had a party? Oh fuck, that's when the CERN rounders came in, wasn't it? Mao looked relieved and went to open the file on her desk. これが今日集計したデータなんですが。魔法、ストップ。2人とも <laughs> <laughs> He's helping. If you'd like to come, you're more than. I didn't even get to finish my sentence. Oh boy. <laughs> peer pressure, peer pressure, peer pressure. That was the moment when Maho's last hope of escape was cut off. I suppose it is. I suppose it is. <laughs> she was quite the plotter. The Ryakuso used to do silly things like this too. Hmm? When she called my name, I gasped. <gasps> oh. Oh no. Is it weird when your ex-girlfriend tries to set you up with her friend? Is it weirder when your dead ex-girlfriend tries to set you up with her friend? Is it weirder when your dead ex-girlfriend who doesn't even know that she was your ex-girlfriend tries to set you up with her friend? I realized that I really did love Grisu Makusai. Yep, that's the impression I'm getting. But even as she said it, she was smiling. Because she decided to go to the party after all. And Suza has What? 
Wait, 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 or at least the main way of changing the world line would uh, see Mayuri's death being absolute. What else would she get so passionate about? <laughs> that trigger was pulled. There are bullet marks on the inside of this time machine. So how to trace them with her fingers and remember what had happened here. It was the last time she had talked to Kagari. She's never been able to find her after that. Suzuha, Dustan, Bodushte. Muskiste made the Taichu Warui. So, no. No. They hadn't. Damn. They didn't just lose each other. No, Suzuha. Kiwa mo kurei shisa. Samui shisa. Tsuzuki wa stani surubeki dote. Suru suru kairu. Is it not the Christmas Eve? I suppose Ataro wasn't there, so... Luca was the only guy, so maybe the Christmas stuff is still going on? Suzaha told Ataro that she was spending every day looking for Kagari. It was only later that she found out that he told her Rintaro. It wasn't a problem, but her relationship with Rintaro was already a bit strained. It only made it harder for her to ask him to get back in the time machine. Ataro sighed and started to concentrate on his work. He did his job silently, twisting his massive body to the left and right. Watching him, Suzaha remembered his, uh, her childhood. She was younger, she loved watching her dad make the time machine. Mm, maybe. Maybe not. Because the thing about it is, it's hard to imagine Kakari being all that upset about it when at the same time, where Mayuri will live, right? So why would she be that upset about it? Why would she be upset about this world line being erased? What's wrong with that? うん。これって告白シーン。セーブしとくべきとこ。うん。シュー。シュー<笑> そのくらい単純でいいと違うん。未来でもそうだった。いつもいつも逃げ回るのが仕事。けど、Hmm, that feels like it sort of confirms the idea that the attacks and everything else are probably born from the World War III behind-the-scenes battles that are starting to take place. The pre-war machine of... machine of war, really. Starting to get its, uh, gears running. For about two weeks now, someone had been watching Suzuha in the time machine. It was clear that some great power was on the move. Okie dokie. Zaha nodded, satisfied with Ataro's answer, then went to the bathroom to wash her face. Back to Okabay. You know what? This is really turning into something that is starting to feel like there's a decent chance that something bad's going to happen, you know, in the same vein as uh, the party in the first game. It feels like it's foreshadowing towards that with Suzuha's little thing there about how um, the powers that be setting into action. And guess what? Every if okay, let's just say if Daru shows up here, Suzuha shows up here. 
Maybe Kagari shows up here? I don't know. She, maybe she attacks. <laughs> um, if that happens, you have Dr. Luskin, you have Maho, you have, in a sense, a connection to Amadeus, too. You have, um, you have Kreese's computer. That's another thing. You have, you, yeah, you have everything else, too. But still, wouldn't that be the perfect time to make a move? That was filled with Santa's, just like, uh, I'd heard on the phone. Oh, then we're wearing miniskirts! I have to be honest, that is pretty great. <laughs> Why is Yugi's outfit so much more sexual than Mayuri's and Ferris's at the moment? I will know, I really do like that, um... I wouldn't call it a scar- there's a word for it, like, um... There's a word for, like, the sort of, like, um, half cape that you sort of put over, like they sort of have, like Murray and, uh, Ferris sort of have. Oh, they have it too. Hmm. Besides so many girls in a small room like this, all wearing Santa miniskirts, starting to overwhelm me. I was having trouble deciding whether, um, to look when Lukaku staggered in front of me. I'm so sorry. Lukaku? What are you wearing, man? I didn't expect a Santa in black. And wasn't he exposing an awful lot of skin? It was really erotic. But he's a guy! Boku no Piku. No, 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 I gave him a pat on the shoulder and he smiled, relieved. He's still planning to kill me. You know, are you... I sort of got the impression that Okabe was killed by you. Maybe not this version of you, but... The biggest goal today was to get Suzaha to participate. There's no exaggeration to say that was why Myri had held this party in the first place. I'll introduce you. This is Dr. Leskinen. Merry Christmas! She seems so impressed. Maybe just because he's so tall? Um. And this is Maho. Yeah, Joe. What? Why is it because she's small? Even Nai says that. smile froze on her face. <laughs> oh, that's the goal. Okay, that's the goal. Oh, I'm so sorry, Maho. I shouldn't have brought you. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. Mayuri had her in her sights then. I guess there's no escape from Maho now. Mayuri was so stubborn that she managed to convince the, uh, the legendarily shy Lukaku to do it. <laughs> I think they're too busy to be going to... Kamima, I assume. I love it. I love it. You shouldn't assume that everyone will just understand your cosplay hobby. Unless they're Lukaku. <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, Mayu's got. Mario was already going after her. 
Maho refused as forcefully as she could, but Dr. Lefton was surprisingly interested. He has been trying to put on a triangular paper party hat. Reach grabbed a noisemaker, got in his position. Did you explain this to Maho and Dr. Leskinen? Dr. Leskinen and Maho helped too. Hmm. Maho seemed unsure, but Dr. Leskinen was more than willing to participate. Oh my. <laughs> and then Suzu's like, Dad, why are you announcing that? It's like, because I really like to yell. It's Christmas season. Let's have some fun. We all went, shh, at each other in the darkness. Okay. I can hear two footsteps coming up the stairs. Zaru, you idiot. Your voice is shaking. Let's get the signal. She's having war flashbacks now. I can see Suzuha flinch for just an instant. Oh, wait. But I can follow what happened after that. That's how fast she was. She dropped down, sprung on the floor, and leapt towards Yuki, who had happened to be standing in front of her. Oh, no, 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 no. Fortunately, Yuki had been surprised by Suzuha's uh, Suza sudden charge and had slipped when she tried to step back. Because of the Suzuha's palm, barely missed Yuki's nose as it sliced through the air. <gasps> you... Uh, we should have figured this might have happened. Suzaha <laughs> seemed to snap back to reality, and she was looking around at everyone. Ha. <laughs> ha. Uh. Merry Christmas, Suzuha! Merry Christmas? Is she pouting? Oh, does she have like a, like that little like bubble end to her mouth that indicates she's pouting? Oh, it's so subtle. Oh, she definitely she's pouting. So I laughed half-heartedly and began backing towards the door. She doesn't want to participate. Come on. どこってマヨネーさんたちパーティーするんでしょ邪魔しちゃ悪いからさ。もう兄さんってば気が利かないよな。こんなところに私がいても仕方ないじゃないか。No, come on. No, you're fine. You're fine. My grab Suzu's hand tightly to keep her from getting away. けど本当にどうしたらいいのか私 You know what, Suzu? Neither do I. Honestly, neither do I. I, I'm not a party person. I really am not. That's not a bad start. I already half dragged Suzuha over to the seat next to me and forced her to sit down. Wait, why next to me? Hi, Hakusha, Hakusha! I, I, I wasn't clapping. Everybody started to applaud at Fubuki's signal. Dara played some Christmas carols on the computer, and the grim atmosphere had begun, uh, had begun to fill the room was banished. That's a little relieved. <laughs> Suzuha still looked like she was feeling, so she didn't belong, so I poured her some non-alcoholic champagne. And then I slipped in some actually alcoholic champagne, because she... I think she's underage, technically. I don't know how old she is in this. I forget. Is it bad to do this once in a while? Ah, you can do it, you can do it. Mari stood up flustered. As she stood up, she bumped into the kaka. Who's standing next to her? The two of them almost spilled their drinks. <laughs> I, I'm wondering how Dr. Luskin and Maho would take that. Alright. 
Ari gave a little bow and smiled to Suzaha. Suzaha answered with an expression that wasn't quite a smile. Mao stood up with a slight frown and thought for a moment before she opened her mouth. Brutal. Brutal. Ferris, you're fucking crazy. <laughs> that was good. That was actually pretty darn good. Miles' desperate attempt at something interesting was acute, but honestly, it was a little embarrassing. I felt like watching a small, adorable animal. <laughs> you got a career in front of you. <laughs> you got a career in front of you, Maho. so much right now. Ferris and Mayu are the only ones who seem really impressed. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This is um, an interesting toast. I would too. <laughs> bastard. <laughs> you bastard. Ferris and Dr. Leskinen were both trying, uh, enjoying trying to make her feel better. Oh, yeah, that's what they're doing. Hmm, Mari put a piece of quiche on a plate and gave it to Suzaha. As soon as I took a bite, her expression began to shine. Yuki went around and offered everyone something to eat. But she couldn't bring herself to offer any to Suzaha. Mari kept monitoring for her to go over, but he just kept fidgeting. Maybe she was thinking about it too much. But Suzaha kept devouring all the food that Mayuri and Yuki had prepared, and gushing over each dish. Two of them had been practicing their cooking for about a month here in the lab. I guess it paid off. When she saw that everyone had eaten the food, Ferris clapped her hands together loudly to draw everyone's attention. I'm still expecting something horrible to happen. Oh, was that a thing we were supposed to do? I don't think I bought any presents. Mom and the professor had stopped at, uh, Donkey. Exote? Is that supposed to be like a Kyote? Like, oh, I don't even know. On the way from Waku City, we just spent 10 minutes picking out presents. It's okay. Just throw in a time machine. You got a time machine. Ari's plan for the evening was not only to make Suzaha smile, but to bring Yuki and Daru a little closer together. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. It's not a bad idea. Then she lifted a bundle of disposable chopsticks up above her head. Please, please let us play the King's game. I love that. It's always hilarious in, in like, games and anime. Hey, Mayuri, the King's game something you play at singles parties, right? Oh, 
引いた番号のプレゼントをゲットできるのよ。Ferris loudly shuffled all the chopsticks and went around to everyone so they could draw one. She was also a part of Myri's plan. In fact,、um, Myri and Ferris were sending signals to each other with eye contact with their fingers. While everyone was focusing on the chopsticks, they were busy re-、uh, relabeling Yuki and Dara's presence. <laughs> They're so obvious about it that I started to get nervous that Yuki would find out. Oh, did you get something traumatizing? I was the first to react as she gave out a very strange cry. The inside of her box was a skull face. Ha! That's a good thing, right? ベルトのバックルだよ、ナイちゃん。学校につけていったら、きっと人気者だと思うな。Oh, my face. I was feeling bad for Nai, but when I took out my own present. Um. Whose idea was this? The box was a cute design. Inside it was what looked like a see through white veil. f a y was decorated here and there with little pink ribbons. Scampia. Hmm? Ah, Okari san no tokoro e t a k a Sano mama, Mayushi ni presento s t a g e r to e o No, no way. No, no. Okari san no tamenara, y o r o k o n d e k i t e k u r e t e That's not really the point here. Why are we talking about this? Nani, Nani? Why is she got all Castano? No. I'm going to burn this thing. Why you heard her own name and came over? So let's see. Nani, Kono. Baby doll, the yo, my you see? Scamo, choke a wife, the sex she in a yatsu. Okari san, the Tameni. Uh, I thought it was a veil. Don't veils go on your head? Oh no. You know, that's not happening. それなら、オカリンさんが自分で来てもいいんですよ。うーん。I'm giving this back. You can enjoy it yourself. I push the baby doll and drape back into Fubuki's hands. じゃあ、こっちと交換します What did you get? Sexy pink shorts and a pink bra. Yep. Air see through. Why did people buy clothing as, as this gift? That seems like the stupidest thing to buy for a random lottery presents Christmas party thing. Even if they were all the same gender, what about sizes? Am I just gonna end up returning everyone's present to them? Oh! My head. Is that all you people think about? Oh, did you get mine? By the way, I've chosen a huge chunk of chocolate in the shape of a gold bar. The kind of thing that you'd find in a donkey exote bargain bin. <laughs> Great. It's better than. Better than fucking lingerie? Yeah, I、うん、Oh, yeah, just like I really want the lingerie. You know, I'm Ayuri. I know my Yuri is not the smartest. But. But.、Uh. Somehow I ended up as the bad guy. She started to open her present. She took out a cute wooden music box. When she opened the lid, there was a little tin figure that danced. It definitely looked like something a woman would enjoy receiving. With as many girls as there were coming to this party, might have been the perfect choice. Wait, a music box? Music boxes are cool. I have like a list on my phone that's like stuff that's cool, and music boxes are one of them. 
A little tin figure that danced. Eh, that's not it. I like music boxes just in general. Maybe not ones with figures in them. Ferris, you're making too obvious. Tara reluctantly raised his hand. He's not in on it. He held the music box close to her chest. She seemed to be really happy. And then her expression turned confused as she looked down into the box. Then she started to fidget. She hurried off towards the washroom, still holding the box. According to what Mayuri had told me earlier, there was a fake letter from Daro himself taped into the bottom of the box. Oh god. Why does everyone want to be a fucking matchmaker in this? Kurisu, Mayuri, Varus, apparently. Apparently, Fubuki and Kaede, too, apparently. It was something like a love letter, along with an invitation to a movie date. I wonder how she was reacting. Especially considering the fact that this was supposed to be random. It was supposed to be random. Meanwhile, Daru had also opened his present, and he looked a bit, uh, bothered. According to Mayuri, he was going to get a pair of movie tickets. <laughs> and even though it was a present from Ferris, the tickets uh, came with the instructions to use them for a date with Yuki. Suzo's present was a pair of handmade gloves, and Yuki had evidently, Yuki had evidently made them herself. But, uh, she put them on, looking happy, maybe a little lonely, and smiled. Suzuha, you got the gym. <laughs> Dara realized he'd been set up, and he was clearly avoiding looking at her. Suzuha so seemed to understand and pat him on the back with a gentle expression on her face. <laughs> he came back from the bathroom. She seemed to be having trouble walking straight. She sat back in her seat, but began to nervously nibble at the snacks at the table. And once in a while, she would take a look at Daru. From now on, the movie ticket plan seemed to be going well. Oh, staring too much could tip her off, so I probably pre should pretend I didn't know anything. Hmm. <laughs> cool. Music boxes are awesome. Maybe not with that sort of design. I like wooden box music. I like the sound of music boxes. That's the main thing. They sound really nice. They're relaxing. I have, I have one from my childhood that I honestly really sort of treasure. As she wound it up, Kaede turned off the music in the background. Yeah. took her hand off the winding key and the mechanical yet gentle sound that was unique to music boxes began to play. The lively atmosphere of the lab was replaced with a feeling of calmness and peace. We listened quietly to the sound of the music box. Hmm. Interesting. Suzaha stood up as if she suddenly remembered something. I don't know if I cut it out, but she, um, her mother was singing a song earlier and she didn't remember. Like, she recognized it because she always, uh, Yuki sang it to her when she was young. She did recognize it because of that. Yuki-san, hora, oboete nai? He was spacing out so hard that she started to panic when Suzaha spoke to her. Suzaha seemed to be remembering something as her eyes narrowed. Mayune-san, 
Ari was about to speak, and then... Ah, oh, I knew it. Out of nowhere. The world twisted. Ugh. I moaned in pain as an incredible sense of wrongness flooded through me. The whole lab seemed to twist and fade. The happy part I'd been experiencing warped and waved like a mirage. This, this couldn't be, no. So far away, I heard something that sounded like a violent crash. I just barely able to move my eyes in the direction that it came from. I saw Fubuki falling to the floor as she knocked over a table. Kaede and Ferris ran over to her, calling her name. It all looked so blurred, like I was watching a movie underwater. Everything was moving slowly. The voices were getting further and further away. No matter how much I stretched out my hand, reached no one, and touched nothing. It was a terrible feeling, as if time and space were being torn apart, and even matter itself was losing its subjectivity. This feeling. Even I didn't want to remember it. I knew what this awful feeling was. It went far better than I had ever wanted. This was reading Steiner. What changed the timeline? Pandora's box. Ooh. Okay, well, that's the end of the chapter. That only took me three hours. Yeah, that... <laughs> three hours almost straight, too. Okay, so... That's a... So, it was Pandora's box, and here the music box. Ooh. I wonder if it's related. Is that song make a difference? Is that song important? I never would have imagined it would be important. How could that change something? Why would that change anything? The only thing that seemed to change was the point. And it was at that point too. It was at the point where my Yuri was about to say what it was. Was there something that actually came back from time to cause that to change? Okay, how does um? Okay, so the the D-mail stuff changed time by sending it at the point and time changed immediately the only example we have of a time traveler changing time is when a time traveler came back and it only changed itself time only changed itself and reading Steiner just kicked in at the point when time was changed right? when the action was actually successfully changed when the will of the person successfully did something to change the time. Mm. We only really have one example of that happening, too. That's part of the problem. And we can't even count the brainwave stuff, because in this case, the only thing that could have changed time was Suzaha, right? The fact that she knew it and she brought it up and everyone remembered? Was that enough to change the future? What about Kagari? Is Kagari involved in this at all? It sounded like the thing with Kagari had developed to a point that she might be involved. Well, I mean, something went wrong. I sort of expect us to get attacked by whoever was uh, spying on all of us. Sort of like the first game. Yeah, I guess that would have been treading over the same ground again. But again, you could be purposely paralleling it. It's possible. She doesn't want the future to change, which probably means she, in the same way Suzaha was talking about it, she doesn't want it to change because she doesn't want her mother, being her mother, to change. She doesn't want to be herself and she doesn't want all that to stop. Then again, I mean, you have that really good argument for why you want to change it. Horrible things happen. And if you, I guess if you're someone, if you're the type of person who only knew that life, whose entire happiness came from the idea of what was in the future, and not so much the the past and the potential of the past, you you didn't have enough time, enough connection to that to honestly see that as a valuable thing, then maybe you wouldn't do it then. That's the only thing I can think of for Kagari at the moment. She's not Karisu's mother, like one of my other theories. She was left in 98, which means that's definitely not a possibility. And we sort of got confirmation that the fact, the thing they were talking about with her family was that uh, Russians set her home on fire, which isn't great. I still think that's probably a, a matter of Nagabachi not doing what he's told and the Russians showing that they can follow through on their threats. I don't think there's anything suggesting that um, Kreese's mother and father didn't at least love each other still. As much of a shit person her father was. Don't really know her mother, so I can't really speak on that either. There's still the question of how it gets to the point of Stein's Gate, Steingate's story. Uh, getting in with the video D-mail being sent back. That seems like just a matter of Okabe getting his resolve. I sort of feel as though Amadeus Kurisu might be like, 
once he lets uh, lets her in on the situation, she might be helping him develop it, like in the background. Because let's be realistic here. Okabe is probably not smart enough to develop that on his own. He sure has the drive, and he probably has a bit of the background in it to do that, but he's not smart enough to know everything well enough to develop it all by himself. I don't know, maybe he gets Maho involved? Maybe he gets Dr. Leskinen involved if he's not evil? He doesn't seem like he's evil at the very least. Hmm, so many questions. So many extra questions. Some of the questions have been marked off, but new questions have arisen. Overall, that Christmas party scene, over it was just very enjoyable. I, I think it was probably one of my favorite scenes so far. That and when they were attacked, that was also really cool. It was like, um, I talked about it in my review of the original Steins Gate, how it had this writing style that made everything feel more alive, like you're still in the moment. That everything was happening, like, out of flow, that actually felt like it was happening rather than line by line by line. It, it was able to do that, and I feel as though they still, got, they still got that, which is good. It doesn't do as well as, like, Muv Love or anything, which sort of has the, like, animated feel to it that makes everything sort of flow together but this has the writing style that Muv Love also has that makes that really good so yeah it, it does that really well and uh i i think i'm really enjoying i, I mean I, i'm still not sure how i'm going to edit this down but i, I i'm enjoying this a lot I'm, I'm happy i'm able to continue this in some way or form um so i'll edit it in some way i'll probably make a lot of those decisions as i'm editing it tonight but uh with that in mind i'll make those editing decisions as i get through that uh, that's gonna take a while but with that in mind, I'll see you all next time. Drive safely, everyone.